In this program, we'll present choices of salads, entrees, and desserts for two. The first choice is a refreshing strawberry salad. You will need bib lettuce leaves, eight red onion slices, one cup of fresh strawberries, and one half cup of poppy seed dressing. Begin by lining a salad plate with bib lettuce leaves. Then, cap the strawberries, slice them in half, arrange the strawberries in a mosaic pattern, like this. Next, lay some red onion slices on top of the strawberries. Pour one quarter cup of poppy seed dressing over each plate and the salad is ready to serve. In review, place the bib lettuce leaves in a salad dish Place strawberry halves on top of the lettuce. Place red onion slices on top of strawberries. Finally, top with poppy seed dressing and serve. For an alternate salad, try pea salad. Ingredients include one cup of sour cream, one quarter cup mayonnaise, one quarter cup chopped green onions, three cups cooked cooled green peas, and one teaspoon of dill weed, salt, and pepper. Start the salad by mixing one quarter cup of mayonnaise with one cup of sour cream. Then add one teaspoon of dill weed and stir these ingredients well. In a separate bowl, add one quarter cup of chopped green onions to three cups of cooked, cooled green peas. You can either use cooked frozen peas or leftover peas. Next, mix the dressing into the peas. This salad can be made in advance and refrigerated for up to two days. After this is well mixed, lay some lettuce leaves on a salad plate and spoon on the pea salad. Garnish the salad with parsley and you're ready to serve. To summarize, mix mayonnaise and sour cream together, then add dill weed. Add chopped green onions to peas and add dressing to the pea mixture. Mix well, sew on lettuce leaves with parsley garnish. A fresh and colorful third choice is rice salad. You will need one quarter cup minced onion, one quarter cup chopped green pepper, one quarter cup chopped red pepper, one quarter cup of shredded carrots, one third cup diced tomatoes, two cups of cooked rice, and one half cup of Italian dressing. Start the salad with two cups of cooked cooled rice. This is also a good recipe to use with leftover rice. To the rice, Add one quarter cup of minced onions. Then add one quarter cup of green pepper. Continue by adding one quarter cup of carrots that have been shredded with a grater. 
Then add one third cup of diced tomatoes. And one quarter cup of red pepper. At this point, you can begin to add spices, which are optional. Add one eighth of a teaspoon each of oregano, basil, ginger, and salt. Now, Pour one half of a cup of Italian dressing over the mixture. Stir all of the ingredients together. You can substitute other vegetables such as celery or zucchini if you prefer. Arrange a bed of lettuce onto a salad plate. Spoon the rice salad onto the lettuce. Garnish with parsley, and it's ready to serve. To review the rice salad, you will need to cook the rice according to the package, or use leftover rice. Let rice cool, and add raw chopped vegetables, and mix in spices. Pour in Italian dressing, and stir salad well. Serve on lettuce leaves with parsley garnish. A delicious and easy entree is London broil with mushroom sauce. The ingredients are one half large flank steak, one cup of salad oil, one quarter cup of butter, four cloves of garlic, one half pound of sliced mushrooms, three tablespoons of flour, two cups of water, one half teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon of celery salt, and one eighth teaspoon of pepper. Begin the sauce by melting a one half cup of butter into a skillet. Then cut one clove of garlic in half, peel it, and place it into the melted butter. Remove the garlic after one minute. Now, take a half pound of fresh mushrooms and slice them into thin pieces. Once the mushrooms are sliced, remove the garlic clove from the skillet and add the mushrooms. Saute the mushrooms for one to two minutes or until golden brown. When the mushrooms are done, transfer them to another dish. Continue with the sauce by adding three tablespoons of flour to the skillet. If the mushrooms have absorbed a lot of the butter, you may have to add more to the flour already in the skillet. Stir this around till all the butter melts.
Then add two cups of water mixed with beef paste to the skillet and stir the mixture constantly until it begins to thicken. To avoid lumps, it is very important to continue stirring while the sauce thickens. Using a whisk also helps to prevent lumps. If you would like to make your own beef base, we offer a great recipe on the Video Cooking Library's Sensational Soups Tape. While you're stirring, you can add one eighth of a teaspoon of celery salt, one quarter a teaspoon of salt, and one eighth of a teaspoon of pepper into the sauce. Once the sauce begins to thicken after about one minute, Add the mushrooms. Stir them in. If you start the sauce immediately after you put the meat in the broiler, they should be ready at the same time. To begin the meat, take the remaining peeled cloves of garlic and cut them in half, then place them in a cup of vegetable oil. Next, take half a large flank steak and score it. This is done by making slight cuts on both sides of the meat like this. This helps the steak cook a little quicker and also allows it to absorb any marinade. Then brush the garlic oil on both sides. Store the remaining garlic oil in the refrigerator for future use. Place the steak on your broiler pan and broil for four to five minutes. When the meat is done, cut it into thin strips. Place it on a plate. And spoon on the mushroom sauce. Garnish with parsley and cherry tomatoes and your London broil is complete. In summary, melt butter in a skillet. Place a clove of garlic in the skillet and remove after one minute. Place sliced mushrooms in skillet and saute two to three minutes. Remove mushrooms from the skillet. Add butter, flour and water to the skillet. Stir continuously until thick. Add spices and sauteed mushrooms. Score the steak. Brush with garlic oil. Broil for four to five minutes. Slice thinly and top with mushroom sauce. Another quick entree is teriyaki steak. The ingredients are one half large flank steak, one half cup of vegetable oil, one cup of soy sauce, three tablespoons of brown sugar, three garlic cloves mashed, one tablespoon of ginger, and two tablespoons of sherry. To mash the garlic cloves, trim the ends, then lay the flat side of a knife on top of the clove and smash it. This also allows the clove to be peeled easily. Once this is done, place the garlic cloves in a pan. Then trim and peel a piece of fresh ginger root, like this. You may substitute ginger spice if you desire. After the ginger is peeled, grate off one tablespoon and add to your pan.
Then add one half cup of salad oil. Two tablespoons of sherry. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. And one cup of soy sauce. Stir this thoroughly. Next, you will want to score half of a large flank steak. For these instructions, refer back to the previous recipe. Lay the steak in the marinade for 10 minutes. Although remember, the longer it marinates, the better. After it marinates, place the steak in the broiler for 5 minutes. When it's finished, cut into thin strips and the teriyaki steak is ready to serve. To review, add garlic, ginger, soy sauce, brown sugar and oil together. Score the steak and place it in the pan. Marinate it for 10 minutes. Remove from marinade and broil for 5 minutes. Slice thinly, garnish and serve. For a spicy entree, try pepper steak. The ingredients are one half large flank steak, one medium onion, one green pepper, three tablespoons of cornstarch, four tablespoons of sherry, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one half teaspoon of ginger, four tablespoons of oil, and salt and pepper. Start the pepper steak by making the marinade. In a bowl, mix three tablespoons of soy sauce, four tablespoons of sherry, one half teaspoon of ginger, and three tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix all of these ingredients until the cornstarch is dissolved. Then set it aside while you prepare the meat. Take one half of a large flank steak and cut across the grain, making nice thin strips. Place the meat in the marinade and start the vegetables. Begin by slicing one green pepper in small, bite-sized pieces on longer, thin strips. Next, peel a medium onion, cut it in half and slice it into thin pieces. Add two tablespoons of oil to a skillet and then add the onions and green peppers. Saute them for one to two minutes. Once the vegetables are done, remove them from the skillet. Return the skillet to the burner and add the remaining oil. Then add the marinated steak to the skillet. And stir fry for one to two minutes. Once the steak is done, add the vegetables back into the skillet, toss them around just long enough to rewarm, and the pepper steak is ready to serve. In reviewing the pepper steak, you will need to combine the soy sauce, sherry, ginger, and cornstarch, cut meat against the grain in bite-sized pieces, add to the marinade and set aside, slice green peppers and onions, Add oil to the skillet and saute vegetables. Cook one to two minutes, then remove from the skillet. Stir fry meat for one to two minutes. Stir vegetables back in with the meat. Transfer to plate and serve. An elegant dessert to serve is ice cream crepes with chocolate sauce. The ingredients are one and one half cups of milk, three eggs, one and three quarter cups of flour, two tablespoons of melted butter, two cups of ice cream, any flavor, and one half cup of chocolate sauce. Begin by making the crepes. A good idea is to make them in advance and freeze them. That way, you always have them ready. To begin the crepes, mix one and three quarter cups of flour, one and one half cups of milk, two tablespoons of oil or melted butter, and three eggs together. Stir this thoroughly 
until it's the consistency of thin pancake batter. It's not necessary to get out all the lumps. After the batter is stirred, lightly oil an 8-inch skillet, a Teflon-coated skillet works best. Then spoon in two tablespoons of batter and roll the batter around so it covers the skillet. Then place the skillet on medium heat. When the edges curl up and turn light brown, the crepe is ready to flip. You can make sure it's ready by lightly tapping the skillet on the surface. If it breaks away from the skillet, it's time to flip it. Then cook the crepe on this side for another 20 to 30 seconds. When it's done, you can transfer it directly to a plate or you can lay the crepes between wax paper and refrigerate for future use. To finish the crepe, spoon on about two tablespoons of ice cream, any flavor, and roll it up. Then, cover with chocolate sauce. Garnish the crepe with whipped cream and strawberries for a delightful dessert. In summary, add together flour, melted butter, eggs and milk. Blend this well. Lightly dampen a skillet with oil. Spoon two tablespoons of batter into a skillet. Flip when the edges begin to turn light brown. Cook on each side 30 to 40 seconds. When done, place on waxed paper Transfer to plate, spoon on ice cream, roll up, top with chocolate sauce. A light and refreshing alternate is quick lemon pie. The ingredients include one small container of whipped topping, one small can of sweetened condensed milk, one small can of frozen lemonade, and one pre-made graham cracker crust. Start the pie by placing one small container of non-dairy whipped topping in a mixing bowl. Then pour in one small can of sweetened condensed milk. Add one small can of lemonade concentrate that will thaw during the day in the refrigerator. Once all ingredients are in the bowl, mix them together. Then, simply spoon the mixture into a pre-made graham cracker crust. If you choose, decorate with whipped cream rosettes and chocolate sprinkles. Prepare the pie before your other dishes, refrigerate, and when you've finished your meal, the dessert will be ready. To review the quick lemon pie, mix sweetened condensed milk with whipped topping, stir in lemonade, spoon into pie crust, refrigerate.